David Perlo with Go For It Imuna. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking a little about Purim. You know, there's two holidays that are that are very uh, important in the Jewish religion. One is called Yom Kippur, and one is called Purim. Purim is a rabbinical holiday, and Yom Kippur is a holiday that is written in the actual Torah scroll. Um, now, what does uh, Yom mean. Yom means day. Yom Kippur means a day like Purim. And Purim is Purim, which means like a lottery. Um, so we have two holidays. One is from the Torah scroll, Yom Kippur, and one is rabbinical. Uh, meaning it was a holiday enacted by the head rabbis of its time during the story of Mordechai and Esther. And so we have two holidays, Yom Kippur and Purim. What does it mean? Yom Kippur, the holiday which is found in the Torah scroll, it says Yom Kippur, means a day like Purim. This is a secret of the Torah. It means it's a day like Purim. Okay? What does that mean? Well, let's examine each holiday. Okay? Yom Kippur is a day of atonement, a day of forgiveness, meaning it's a day that we don't eat, we don't go to work, there's other things that we don't do. It's a day of asking for forgiveness to uh, the Almighty for all different types of things that we did wrong and going against uh, God's will. But what's funny about that holiday, it's not funny, a lot of people don't know this, but Yom Kippur, the day that we don't eat, only atones for transgressions between a person and the Almighty. Meaning, for example, uh, a person who is keeping Shabbat and all of a sudden he transgresses by accidentally turning on his phone, which is uh, a use of electricity, which come, which is derived from the use of fire from the times of the tabernacle at Mount Sinai and into the, the desert. Um, Yom Kippur comes to atone for those kinds of transgressions, transgressions between a person and... Um, and, and God, but it doesn't come to atone between transgressions between a person and another person, meaning if I spoke slander about someone, if I embarrassed someone, if I committed a, um, a, I did something wrong to a person, so that's my responsibility to go to that person directly and send and try to meet with them or send them an email or call them and just ask for uh, forgiveness you know we're all human we all make mistakes every day and Yom Kippur um, if a person doesn't do that kind of soul searching and correcting those transgressions stay with him for that year okay now what is this about Yom Kippur it means that Yom Kippur a day of atonement is like Purim. How is that possible? On Purim, we're supposed to be having a big party, getting drunk, uh, wearing costumes, having fun. It's like this. Um, the Zohar explains that on Purim, a person can reach spiritual heights that he can, um, that he can reach on Yom Kippur through physical pleasure, whereas on Yom Kippur, people are in the synagogue all day, and they're not eating, and all they're thinking about is God, 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 Hashem, 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 and coming closer to Him, whereas on Purim, it's like, hey, pour me another drink, and <laughs> let's uh, go to another person's house and start dancing there, and crash that party, and uh, if you haven't been in Israel for Purim, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely something that can really inspire you. Um, but let's get back more to this idea of Yom Kippur is a day like Purim. What, how are they both similar? Well, the secret, I feel, this is a, a Hiddush that 
this is a an insight that God gave me about a year ago when I was fortunate to learn um, a, the, the Talmud one day it just hit me that well one of the one of the mitzvahs of the day of Purim in addition to reading the Megillah in addition to reading the story of Purim is the mitzvah of Mishloch Manot which is the the mitzvah of giving a gift to friends and then I started to think okay what's the connection again between Yom Kippur and Purim on Yom Kippur we're asking for forgiveness on Purim we're getting drunk and giving gifts uh, that's here's the here's the here's the answer I feel is that on Yom Kippur we're asking for forgiveness for our transgressions between us and the Almighty and we do that by saying sorry to him but if we don't do that to other people those transgressions stay whereas on Purim you have an opportunity Mishloch Manot to buy a gift some chocolates some cookies a bottle of wine and you go to that person and you write a little note and you just say listen I, I, I remember this has been on my mind I made I said this about you and we fought about it and I didn't I didn't ask you for your forgiveness you know we're all embarrassed you know we all have got you know we all have got ego we've all got uh, things inside us and no I don't have to say sorry you know they started you know life is short it's better to have a happy heart <laughs> say you're sorry on Purim we have a mitzvah to give a gift it's not just to give a gift it's an opportunity to complete to complete the process of asking for forgiveness that we were supposed to do back on Yom Kippur you guys this is go for Amuna this Purim make it the best one you can get gifts ask for forgiveness have fun drink a lot and we'll be broadcasting live Bezrat Hashem on on Purim from Israel we're gonna be broadcasting live hopefully on YouTube or on Facebook one of the other the, the details will be coming but you will definitely definitely enjoy what you'll see guys this is David Perlo with go for a moon if you like the videos please share them and if you have an idea for a video please email me or send me a message on Facebook or on YouTube or on my blog uh, check it all out thank you so much for your support I hope you're enjoying it and God bless and have a happy Purim